In this video, we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of this rational function. So first notice that the denominator is a sum, so we can represent this as a series. So the formula in general is going to be of 5n minus 3, but when n is 0, we get negative 3. If n is 1, we get 2. When n is 2, we get 7. So starting at n equals 2, that's when we get these guys right here. So this 7 will be n equals 2, 12 will be n equals 3, etc. And so what we need to do is take 5 plus the sum from, let's say, k equals 2 to n of 5k five five minus 3. Okay, So that's what this sum is going to be on the denominator. But instead of k, I just used i here. It doesn't really matter. And we're going all the way up to n. Okay, so you plug in n in for i to get 5n minus 3. So now I can break this up. So the sum is linear, meaning I can factor out uh, the 5 here. So what I did was this 5 comes out. Then I have the sum from i equals 2 to n of i minus 3. And then here, I'm subtracting the, the, the 3 n minus 1 times. Okay. So really, the sum is of the i, not of the uh, minus 3 n minus 1. And so to see how many terms there are, what you do is you take the top limit, subtract by the bottom limit, add 1. That's why I got n minus 1. Okay, so I'm subtracting by 3 n minus 1 times. And now I'm using the uh, sum formula for an arithmetic, se uh, arithmetic series. What you do is you take the first term, the first plus the last, and then you multiply that by the number of terms all over 2. So the first term we see is, well, first term is 2. Right, because our sum starts at i equals 2 to n of i. So I'm only looking at this sum. So it's like 2 plus 3 plus all the way up to n. You do the first plus the last. That's going to give us n plus 2. How many terms are there? Well, you take the last minus the first plus 1 to get n minus 1. And that's going to be all over 2. So that's how I got this formula. And then I multiplied it by this 5 in front. Okay, now I don't like the 2 in the denominator, so what I did was I multiplied top and bottom by 2. So the terms in the numerator became 2, their coefficients rather. And then we do 5 times 2 became 10. This 2 went away. And then the negative 3 became negative 6. Now, I just simplified this entire denominator. You know, I foiled it out, this thing. I distributed the 6, etc. So when you, when you do that, you get 5n squared minus n plus 6. And now, I just divided the top and the bottom by the largest uh, exponent of n. So in this case, it's n squared. So you're going to multiply by 1 over n squared, or you can think of it just dividing by n squared for each of these terms. And so all of these are going to go to 0 with a negative exponent. So really what's left is 2 fifths. So the limit as n approaches infinity of this whole thing is just 2 fifths.